The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Indian Tabby here with the final, final figure in the first wave that I've got to review. Autobot Grapple from Transformers Earthrise. So, glad to... I, I, Actually, I won this guy in a contest, so um, glad to have him. Glad to do an unboxing of him. Looks very similar to a G1 masterpiece or G1 figure. You know, the whole design looks really nice in the box. We'll get it out and take a look at it. And yes, know about the peg issue, so if we break it, we break it. <laughs> Here's the artwork on the side. Looks like grapple and earth running through the woods. Oh, there's the arc in the background. Look at that. Just notice that. Uh, I don't see any other characters, but see the arc. Forge your class. Turn them back. 16 steps to transform. Showing him with the uh, ramp. It also, it looks pretty good in crane mode, too. So He is WFCE10. Here's the side of the box. We've seen this before, but I, I like this. You know, got the arc and Nemesis and Quintessons, Wheeljack. Trailbreaker, all the cool stuff. Top of the box, there's Galtron just hanging out. All right, let's get out of the package and take a look at it. All right, let's see what he comes with. Here we go, we got a map. Map to nowhere. That doesn't seem to have any name on this one. I can see. That the red decoder, that's cool. Uh, you know, the map, apparently there's a bigger, larger version online you can see and it's so many waves. You're gonna get at least four waves worse, so. Hopefully a lot of cool figures coming down the road. Directions. Bam. Here we are. Let's open these suckers up. Looks super clear. Love that. Love the way they do directions down. Everything's so nice and easy. Easy to see. Um, yes, the pegs do wear me. And uh, hopefully I don't break it. If I do it, it just happens. I can't. Do anything about it at this point. So let's look at his accessories. We got a little claw thing, which that's pretty cool. And we got his gun. Black plastic, a lot of details in here. Very reminiscent of the G1 weapon, which I love. Magazine, look at all these details here. Very nice, looks great. This is what I like for them to do. They seem to include it all the accessories and not missing a weapon like wheel jack or missing something you consider should come with the figure. So that's very cool. And then let's take a look at the figure itself. Mine was in the plastic super tight. Uh, there's no ties, I guess, anymore. With my grapple, it wasn't, it was just in the box. But it, the plastic was so tight. It uh, it was a job getting that guy out. But look at this man. Look, orange plastic, silver here on the front, silver paint. We got a, I don't know if it's like light or whatever. It almost looks like a, a kind of a green, translucent, uh, clear in here. Clear windshield. Silver here for the little things that stick down the ground. They don't extend or anything. Wheels are painted black. Got his crane, let's see, his crane will not do anything. Come on, man, don't tell me it don't extend. Let me check that out, can't believe that. We got the open hands, but that's part of transformation. Let's see here. Here's his face sculpt, that looks really nice. Kind of a light blue eyes, silver face. Got the lights here on top, silver details on the top of the arms. Here's the side. Even when it's crane down, he doesn't have a big backpack. I mean, what can you do with a crane? But I mean, that still pretty good. This is really exceptional figure, and I'm I can you know you can almost guarantee they're going to do Inferno. Maybe they'll do a Art Fire and Hauler and all that. But with this mold, you have you got to make the most of it. And you got to at least do a Inferno, maybe a, another Generation Select Art Fire with a Target Master or Battle Master. That'd be really nice. Well, let's look at him. Let's go over. 360 in the arms. We got a butterfly joint here as part of transformation, but you can do that. Breaks the sculpt, but it is. 
upper arm rotation, elbow bend, a little bit above 90, that's about it. No, rot eh. hands don't do anything. They're limited right there. We got a waist rotation, yes we do. 360 waist rotation, look at that, that's nice. Head can move a little bit up and down, but very little, it's very limited because of this. But 360 can do in the head. Legs will go all the way out, all the way front, all the way back. Very nice, very nice, I like this. We got a upper thigh rotation, knee bend over 90, foot, let's see, we got ankle rocker, I guess you could call that a up and down a little bit, but that's part of transformation. It's not much, and you got a heel spur here. He looks really nice. Autobot symbol looks nice in here. We got plug for the blast effects. Really like this figure. Look at painted details here with like the cylinders extend. The crane thing moves, but I don't don't look like it extends at all, which kind of sucks. But hey, it is what it is. All right, let's take a look at him in vehicle mode. Oh, real quick, before I go into vehicle mode, I just realized I didn't show this. The hands flip around, you can plug the grapple hook into the hands. So, so plug right here, and you can actually plug it in like that. So that's pretty cool. I guess you could actually, let's see, can you do this? You could do the gun. No, nope, I'll let you do that, it's a little too big for it, but yeah, that doesn't make much sense. That's cool. He'll hold his gun really nice, but you can plug that grapple in. So, just wanted to show that. Let's go to vehicle mode. Yes, my leg, no, these pegs are tight on mine too, so just gotta be a little careful. Fold the hands in, like so. Go ahead and rotate it around. Our hands look like this. Rotate the other one. Uh, let's see, what can we do next? Uh, the easiest way would probably be Go ahead and just kind of squeeze this compartment together to pop it out. Mine is really tight and a little scary at times. So popping the head loose like that. And it's all in the big hinge joint, right? So you can go ahead and take this box and just flip around like that. Okay, just extend this all out. Before you go too far, go ahead and fold the, the feet down. Like this here's where you're getting the, the wheels just slide it down like that you want it to look like that and then you can kind of just see how this goes so where this hinge kind of drops into a spot right here you see this kind of divot that's where that goes and then you can just kind of extend this down so the problem is these pegs are super tight, right? And we'll try not to plug them in too tight because I just did and I barely got it out of there. So I got, I got to sand them, but for the purpose of this, we won't do that yet. Okay. So that's sort of what you want to do. Go around here to the front, take this butterfly hinge, fold your arm around like this. It kind of fits down that groove. Fold your arm like this here. See how that goes? And then you just basically fold the cab forward and there's a tab here on the bottom. These arms just kind of sit down on there. And you're pretty much there. Now you just take this and try not to press those pegs in there. See, this is super tight. Yeah, I would, I really would suggest you, you probably sand your pegs just going forward. I'm not going to try to plug that in because I don't feel like breaking something here. And then it does extend and the top here will rotate around so you can do all that. The hook flip around and you can plug the um the grappling hook into that claw and you use it in that manner you can raise it up 
like that, you can do that. And it looks good. These tabs are a little scary. So I'm gonna sand mine down so it isn't so hard to pull apart. But video commode, I think looks pretty good. Man, I just, you see how it goes down in there. But you just need to shave a little bit off and it'll be fine. And I'll work on that in a few minutes here. I think vehicle mode looks really nice. And I think it's a nice addition to the Earthrise line. And I think this will fill, finish out wave one. So I'm going to do a summary video and just give you my opinions on all the figures. I look for that video to come out soon. And I appreciate you watching. Um, please do me a favor. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Check it out. I do a lot of content. Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Transformers mainly, third party, Masterpiece, you name it. Um, do that sort of thing. Doing a little bit of custom work too. Check out the rest of Reject Cons. It's Kato's Collection, who just recently uh, did a great video with Stan Bush. Uh, Larkin's Lair, who's doing the C Cons. And Sardo, who's got a great Mega Man video and other videos he's been doing lately. So check them out. They're great guys. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. See you down the road.